guys um i feel like it looks so dark in here today it's like the middle of the day but it's raining so much it's like it's like one of my favorite days i just love when it rains although it makes me so unmotivated because all i want to do is just like go lay in bed but we gotta get some videos done but yeah so it's like really dark outside and it's been raining like all night but Anyway, um, today I'm so excited because we're going to be playing with the If Looks Could Chill palette. This came out um, in one of the budget boxes last year with, at P. Louise. I want to see if they sell it. Let's have a look. Because this might be one of my all-time favourite palettes, just like looks-wise. It's absolutely stunning and you'll see why when we get into it. Oh good, okay, so they do sell it, thank God, because oh, it's just so stunning. So this is the packaging here like so cute has little sweaters in there like and i think they're meant to move around but mine are all stuck but oh i just can't like it's so cute and this little clasp it's just anyway when you open the palette this is how it looks i'm sure you guys are seeing now why i love it because you know that i love my blues and my greens and then we have this little section down here which is just like oh I cannot. So, I'm so excited for today. Um, I think this palette is just, oh. If there's, like, if I could choose one palette for the rest of my life, it may be this one. So, I mean, I haven't even used it yet, but I just think it's so beautiful. All right, just zoomed you in. And I'm just going to prime my eyes, and then we're going to get into it. I'm so excited. I'm going to try out a new foundation today. So, that'll be in a separate video. I'm going to try out the She Glam Stick Foundation. So that should be interesting. I tried out the Skin Finite Foundation from them and I really liked it. So I'll see how I go with this stick foundation. Hopefully it's nice. I think Shannon Xo actually filmed a video on it the other day. Um, I haven't watched that yet so I might actually watch that today and see what her thoughts were as well. I love like to kind of try products out and then see like what my favorite YouTubers think of the products and see if we have like similar opinions. I always get like so shocked when they have like different opinions to me. I'm like, oh my god. You know when like you really like a product and then someone else doesn't like it and you're like, girl, what? So I am probably just going to take this bottom layer today because I just think these kind of like minty shades are just really calling my name. I think I'm going to start with the shade called Polar Opposite and this is like a really kind of like light minty shade. <laughs> Guys I can't, I don't even want to um, put my brush in these because they're so stunning and each one has a different little stamp in the pan and I just can't, I can't. I washed some brushes last night, all of these, sorry and this is like not even my eye brushes, these are my, this is like my Guys, I feel like I need to do a brush declutter. Like, is this too many brushes? And I still have another pot in the bathroom ready to wash, so. I might have too many, I don't know. Let's get into this polar opposite shade. I'm so excited. And yeah, sorry if you can hear the rain. Tilly's looking at me, I really want to bring her in, but she's like a child. Like, I have to babysit her if I bring her in. I might bring her in when I'm done filming. We can have a little nap together. But she's also like, <laughs> out there standing in the rain and I'm like girl you have undercover like her bed and stuff like her bed outside she has like a day bed for when she's outside in the daytime it's undercover and I'm like girl why are you out in the rain <laughs> like oh I just love a minty green so stunning I didn't even realize that like I chose like a winter themed palette for today and it's like we're raining outside all the winter themed stuff comes out um, in our summer because I'm in Australia. So the rest of the world is having winter while we're having summer. <laughs> and the rest of the world is having summer while we're having winter. So, you know, it's like whenever it's like freezing down here, all like the summer candles and like summer body care and like summer releases are coming out. And I'm like, girl. And then, yeah, we're, when we're like boiling down here because it's our um summertime then everyone is like all cozy and all the winter releases are coming out i'm just like wow happy okay so that's what i've got going on the next shade that i'm gonna take is called misty morning i can't tell if i should do a halo eye i think 
I actually think I'm going to do a full cut crease. This is not the right shape for a full cut crease. Anyway, it's fine. I'm going to take Misty Morning next, which is like a little bit deeper. And I'm going to use this to start really mapping out that full cut crease. These shades are looking really stunning on the eye. I feel like they're obviously like really pigmented, which is nice. I haven't really had to do much blend, like blending yet, so can't really speak to blendability yet. But I mean, typically paler shadows are pretty good at blending. I'm just gonna go back into that pol polar opposite shade and just quickly like blend. Oh my god, this rain and wind is crazy. I wonder if you guys can hear it. I'm gonna go into That's What She Sled. That's fucking, that's so hilarious. And it's like this really beautiful deep, like blue, bluey green. And I'm gonna put that like, this is gonna be the last shade of our, our cockroach. Oh, this shade. So pretty. So pretty. So it's something like that. And then I'll blend it out in one secky. I'm getting a facial tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I haven't had a facial in a very long time. I actually don't know. It'll probably be like at least a year or so. I can't really remember. I love a, a good self-care moment, you know? All right, I'm going to go back into Misty Morning and use that to just blend this blue. With the deep blue then i'm gonna go back into that like fluffy brush that we took at the start and just give everything a nice little blend all right i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna cut the crease and then we'll be back and we're gonna use one of these beautiful shimmers okay so i've cut the crease now and i'd really love to do like like a ombre kind of shimmer situation so i'd like to go like deepest to lightest so i'm just gonna swatch some of the ones that we have Oh my god, they're all just so stunning. Look at them. Uh, I love that one. I just, actually, I don't know if it'll look like silly because it's so close to that shade. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's also this one, which is called Snow Angel. That's beautiful. We have Blizzard. I don't know. I think, I feel like I want to do these three. Um, so we have, this is Blizzard, Middle Blizzard, Middle is Snow Angel, and then we have Icicles. But I think I want to do Snow Angel on the outer corner. Like, so Snow Angel is, like, the furthest away. Can't these shimmers, guys? They're beautiful. So bring Snow Angel to about there. And do the snail over here. And we're going to go Icicles next. And do Icicles. Mm, I feel like this, honestly, isn't looking as good as I thought. Also, I feel like I'm quite far away. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit closer. They just, um, it seems like there's not a whole lot of base pigment, but I don't know. I feel like they swatch nicer on the fingers. Hmm. Anyway, blend those. It's not really having the effect that I thought it would. And then we'll put Blizzard on. Blizzard is so beautiful. It's this gorgeous duo frame. It's got the green in it. I don't know, guys. I just really thought that it would translate a little bit better on the eyes. I'm going to try and put some more on. <laughs> They're beautiful shimmers, I feel like they just, I don't know, I feel like there's just not a whole lot of, like, not enough base pigment or something. But anyway, it still looks okay, I think. Alright, I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna clean it up, do my lashes, you guys know the drill. Um, I can't tell if I should add liner, I might, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go do all of that. And then I will be back um, after I've tried out the foundation. So I completely forgot to film an outro for this video. So I'm just adding in like a video from something else that I filmed and just doing this voiceover so that you can still kind of see how the eye look turned out. I can't believe I forgot to film an outro. I don't think I've ever done that before. But anyway, this is how the 
look turned out i think it ended up looking really nice in the end and yeah i do really like this palette i love blues as you know um yeah thank you guys for watching this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye